really difficult time. Uh, that the Jews want to build their third so, temple, right? That That's what the site where they a believe. Segment, a segment of the Jews. Okay. A segment so, of the Jews. So so not all the Jews. Not all the Jews believe that. Like I actually uh, had a conversation in Rome at a conference that I was in with uh, the man who was in charge, the, the Israeli who was actually in charge of taking care uh, of, of the Israeli side of that, like the, the wall. And he's most of the rabbis traditionally said Jews aren't supposed to go onto the Temple Mount. Right. Because right. That, 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 that was an Orthodox position. But there are segments within the community, and these, again, are the more extreme segments that don't seem to be bothered by that injunction, because the holiest of the holies is identified by the Messiah. And so there are some that say you can't, the temple can't be rebuilt until the Messiah comes back. There, there's another minority uh, belief that says, no, we build the temple and then the Messiah comes. And I think Christian Zionists uh, and Christian Zionism really uh, for Catholics and Orthodox Christians is a heresy because Christ himself was declared himself the temple. So the temple uh, was already raised. Is there right. a way for them to but again, share? That's a, I mean, is it possible to share that spot and let them build a temple and still have a mosque? There's quite a bit of space on the actual Temple Mount, and and the two mosques are there. But I don't think those extremists do not want to share. Um, I don't. I I would, you know, that would be something where the 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 Muslim scholars of that area would have to um, see what arrangements could be made. I mean, you know, these these troubles have been going on really since probably 1913. I mean, 1882, I think, was the beginning of the Alia. Um, but, you know, they've just been increasing over time. So 36 uh, became very serious. I mean, you had you had riots at, at the at the Temple Mount over the Wailing Wall. You had riots in, in 1920, I think, 21 and then 29, where people were actually killed. Um, so so the conflict has been going on for a long time. What, I think one of the saddest things for me is that Muslims and 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 Jews really did live together peacefully at, for centuries. So I, for me, that's the real tragedy um, that the the politics has really ripped uh, these two communities apart. And then I think one of the most interesting things to me about Israel it's it's a meeting place of the north and the south. And I think that's why so many of the southern uh, countries are aligned with Palestine, and it tends to be more, it's the European and and the Western Hemisphere that more is supports Israel. And, and it's very interesting because it's like that's where the two places meet, because if you if you look, the standard of living in Israel for Israelis is, is really quite high. Yeah. Um, whereas for the, the Palestinians, it's, it's, it's almost unbearable. In, in, in most places, like Gaza, it's in incredible. And, and I think uh, somebody like uh, Gideon Levy, the, the um, journalist for Haaretz, I mean, he said that in his estimation, Palestinians have shown an immense amount of, of restraint and patience really uh, in, in dealing with it. So I think that's that to me is the great tragedy yeah. of the place. Because I, I think we are children of Abraham and in some ways it's really a failure. Of, of our religions, you know, it's, this is quite the tragedy uh, because the Jewish community, it, they, they were actually tasked with being exemplars for humanity. They're supposed to show the nations, the goyim, the nations, to how to be an exemplary uh, community, to show us how to live uh, in accordance with God's uh, laws. And, uh, and, and I, think, uh, I think Muslims have that same mandate uh, the Quran says vie in virtue. Uh, you know, there's a beautiful verse in the fifth chapter that says, had God wanted, he would have made you all one community. But he has made you different uh, and, and in order to test you. So vie in virtue. Like, show you're the best by being mm -hmm. the most virtuous. And mm -hmm. I mean, if you people say Muslims are violent, but the reality of it is, if you look just in the last 25 years, 
Muslims have been the victims of incredible violence. I mean, you look, there's over a million dead Iraqis. There's over a million dead Afghan uh, people, Afghan people. Um, if you look at the, 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 the people of uh, Tartaristan, Crimea, the pogroms of Crimea, where they moved the entire population of, of Muslims out of Crimea, which was once a Muslim country, Crimea. A lot of people don't know that. Ukraine had a quite substantial Muslim population. Now it's very small. So I think, and that's again, one of the things that really troubles Muslims. You know, it was unfortunate, I think, with, you know, the, the inability, because obviously, you know, the humanity can get lost in, in oppressive narratives. You know, when people lose their empathy for the other side, on both sides, which is tragic, uh, because human pain is human pain. The 